are so many places around LA where you can get a vegan burger, ranging from high-end places to even national fast food chains, but where has the best just classic cheeseburger? I decided to set out on a tour around LA to try out vegan cheeseburgers from four different popular places and it's time to share my findings with you. Starting off with Monty's Good Burger. Now this should come as no surprise that this is one of the spots I chose to visit because this is a very popular and trendy spot in LA for vegans and non-vegans. They do different collaborations on milkshakes and menu items with local people and celebrities that are always a big hit and they are extremely popular for a good reason because their food is very good. They have locations in Culver City, Echo Park, K-Town, and Riverside, and this does run on the more expensive side compared to some of the other options. Their cheeseburger is $12 and their fries are five, so bringing our subtotal for today's visit to $17. The components of their burger include an impossible patty, cheddar cheese, house spread, lettuce, tomato, house pickles, grilled onions, all served on a soft brioche bun. One of my favorite things about Monty's is that they have tater tots. And I've got to say, before I get into the burger review, that their fries just did not do it for me. I found them to be really soft and not soggy, but they just were not giving the crispiness that I wanted to accompany a burger, especially their burger, because I would almost describe their burger as being like a butter burger. It's extremely moist. You're not going to get like the crispy crackliness on the edges of your patty. It's very soft, but it really melts in your mouth and is very, very delicious. Overall, Monty's I think is one of those spots that I will return to time and time again and be satisfied with visiting. It's also usually open a bit later than some of the other spots on this list. So if I'm ever out late or driving home late or something and I want something like very comforting and delicious, this is definitely the spot to go to because I just think that their food is great. It never disappoints me. It just, again, is on the more pricey side. So that definitely is something to take into consideration because at the end of the day, you know, it's not giving that much difference compared to some of the other spots on this list for just more money. Now let's talk about the cheapest place that I visited on this list, which is Mr. Charlie's. They have two locations in LA, one on La Brea and one in Venice. And like I said, this is the cheapest. Their burger is $7.99 and their fries are $5. So fries are the same cost as Monty's, but their burger is $4 less. The components of their classic cheeseburger are an impossible patty, cheddar cheese, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard. So unlike Monty's, they use fresh cut up onions in there. It's not griddled onions, which is what I prefer for a burger. So you can probably tell based on their branding what they're trying to emulate, but I feel like their burger does a good job of just kind of being an alternative to a classic fast food burger. It's like quick and dirty. It's good. It's standard. It is not too much of a standout for me compared to some of the other options but I do think that the price makes it more attractive because it's $12.99 for a burger and fries, which I understand is expensive compared to, you know, a classic fast food restaurant, but the cost of, you know, doing things like impossible meat or beyond meat or meat alternatives is just more expensive at the end of the day. So that explains obviously why, but I do think that for the price, this is a good option. It's just, on the plainer side and I think that it could be offering a little bit something more like a secret sauce the thousand island I feel like would really take this to the next level their secret sauce I believe is like a barbecue and it's like a barbecue aioli but it's not the same and it also doesn't come on the burger normally you have to order it separately so I think that that kind of holds it back a little bit from ranking higher for me but they do definitely win points for me in the fry department because their fries are well seasoned with salt. They are crispy and delicious. Again, I would just like to dip them in some secret sauce, not just ketchup. I personally have not had McDonald's french fries in years, but my husband does get them and 
I feel like they look and seem similar in texture and style to that. So I will give them points that their fries are pretty good. Now let's head over to Plant Power, which has just one location in Hollywood. They have another location in Long Beach and they have more of a presence in the San Diego area. So maybe if you're from there, you might be familiar with them, but I really love Plant Power. I remember the first time I went to their Long Beach location and I just totally fell in love with them. I personally really appreciate that they have a big emphasis on sustainability using compostable items. And I feel like that is a really important aspect of their brand and compared to the other businesses that you know might do sustainable things i feel like plant power is doing a pretty solid job and i feel like especially for a vegan business i know not every single person who chooses to be vegan for different reasons but i feel like that is a pretty important part of veganism is you know being sustainable being kind to our planet so i really appreciate and enjoy supporting businesses that share those values with me that they are you know doing what they can to be sustainable so they do have just a classic cheeseburger but i chose to get their iconic burger because all but the one mr charlie's had a like secret sauce on it so i was trying to make it as even as possible between the options and so that is what I chose to get. That burger is $9.95 and their fries are $3.79 so bringing the subtotal to $13.74 for this meal. They also do combos so you can do like fries, uh, a burger or a sandwich or something and a drink or you could upgrade and do a milkshake. Their milkshakes are also really excellent. Um, so you can also do that if you are interested. And they actually have a proprietary beefy patty that they use. So they don't use a brand like Impossible or Beyond. It's a house-made brand and I think that that is great. So that is what is on their burger along with American cheese, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions, pickles, and the secret sauce. I really love their burger. Their buns are like a little bit puffier almost than some of the other places. It's not so much of like a squishable burger and their patties are also on the thicker side. Some of the other places do like a thinner patty and I feel like theirs is like just the right amount and feels worth it for the price that I'm paying. I also really love their fries here. They're a good amount of crispiness and also being like soft on the inside. So like I said, I love that. And I also do really love their iconic fries, which are like an animal style with the grilled onions, the secret sauce and the cheese. Their secret sauce, I will say compared to Monty's, I prefer their secret sauce more. On the burger, you can't really taste much of a difference, but when you're dipping your fries in the secret sauce here, I do prefer their sauce compared to Monty's. Monty's is just like a lot thinner, so it doesn't really like stick well on the fry, but the sauce that they have at Plant Power is a little bit thicker, so it actually like works well for dipping. Last but not least, we've got Veggie Girl, which is a little bit different than the other places that I visited because it is not specifically a like burger and fry type place. It has a wide variety of menu items. So I definitely appreciate that, but I will say that they do not put as much of an emphasis on like the burger experience compared to some of the other places. They're also a chain, so they have locations in Hollywood, Santa Monica, Toluca Lake, Westwood, Pasadena, a bunch of other places I'm probably forgetting, um, but they have a bunch of different locations, which is very convenient. And like I said, this is probably the place I eat the most frequently on this list because they have so many options. So I go there for not just burgers, but other menu items as well. So their burger is $11.25. Their fries are $3.25, so the cheapest on the list for the fries. And that brings our subtotal to $14.50. I will say that their fries are more of like a steak type, not maybe not necessarily a steak, kind of like halfway between a normal like skinny type fry and a steak fry. They are a little bit thicker. They call them their golden fries and I don't normally get those. I prefer their sweet potato fries by far. Those are so good. I love getting their sweet potato fries and I also love their chipotle aioli which comes on you can choose either just ketchup or chipotle aioli for the side. I always get the chipotle aioli with the sweet potato fries. 
so good even if i'm not getting a burger from there that's like always what i get for my side i love it so we've mentioned two of the places on this list use impossible burgers one of them uses a proprietary patty but veggie girl uses beyond burgers for theirs this also has american cheese special sauce lettuce, tomato, pickles, red onion, all served on a brioche bun. I think the biggest thing that kind of detracts from this for me is the red onion. I do really like red onion normally on things, but it's not necessarily what I would go for for like a classic cheeseburger. I feel like you see red onion maybe used on burgers, like vegan burgers at maybe like higher end places. And I totally get that because they're trying to like, you know, it a little bit but I think on just like a classic cheeseburger it just doesn't work as well but otherwise this is a pretty good burger it just is not giving the like classic burger experience if that makes sense even though it has all the same components but flavor wise it just is not there it honestly tastes like a little bit healthier even though I would assume that like what you know based on the ingredients all being pretty much the same between all of these like the you know amount of nutrition or whatever is probably pretty similar between all these that's not something that I took into consideration necessarily between all these but I feel like veggie girl is definitely like a healthier place to eat as like a fast casual vegan option which is something that I appreciate like I said I think that their thing is just not burgers so they're not really like going all in if that makes sense now i will say that compared to other places i do like that veggie girl has a diff has different kinds of burgers like they have like a steakhouse blue cheese burger that's actually really good i also really like their veggie burger from here i've gotten both of those more frequently than i've gotten just the classic uh burger but I will say that this does kind of fall short compared to some of the other options that we tried. So with all that said, which place has the best burger? I think I've got to hand it to Plant Power. I think that their quality and texture is very similar to Monty's and Monty's is, I'm going to say, going to be in second place. But I think that their emphasis on sustainability, the cost of their items just takes them a step above and I think that their option of, you know, having crispier fries, who knows, maybe it was an off day at Monty's because I don't know, but their fries were just not doing it for me. And I feel like that is important when I'm having a burger to have a nice side. Like I said, I'm gonna follow that up with Monty's because their burger is just really delicious at the end of the day. It's very juicy and very tasty followed up by Mr. Charlie's. I'm really shocked that I'm honestly putting this one third because it is the like plainest, but I think that Veggie Girl just like isn't nailing it in the burger department. My husband is probably gonna be really mad at me because he is a meat eater and he loves the VG Classic compared to I think some of the other uh, burger options on this list that I mentioned, but I just think that that is, that's my personal opinion and I'm definitely curious to hear what your thoughts are, if you think that there are other places in LA that do it even better than these or places that I should not visit. I would love to hear from you whether or not you're vegan. I'm sure that maybe you've gotten to try some of these places if you're in the LA area. So definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed going on this little burger exploration with me today. It was really fun and obviously delicious to go and visit all these different places that I really like. And it was just a lot of fun. I'm also totally open to doing this kind of like review battle type video with the different food items in LA or different options that I can get in other places. So definitely let me know if that's something you wanna see and if you have any suggestions. Like I said, I'd love to hear it down below in the comments, but that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching, hearing my thoughts and all that good stuff. If you are not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would do so down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video again really soon. Bye.